YouTube, welcome to a new Unity 3D tutorial. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is actually try to make our terrain look a bit better. So at the moment it doesn't look like a game at all, it looks like a flat land with some water and well it's not very good is it? So we're going to change it there, make it look really really cool. So first thing we're going to do is actually back it all up in case we mess it up. So all I'm going to do is click on the floor, press ctrl slash command D or right click duplicate to duplicate it. I'm just going to hide it, but I'm going to call it back up just so we've got kind of a backup in case anything goes too wrong so we've got this one now so first thing I'm going to do is I'm first going to hide the water here so if yeah we'll hide the water and I'll hide everything else like the walls and everything so everything's gone we can turn the light on and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make it all completely flat again so this is really simple by going to terrain and then flatten height map and just put zero flatten boom so don't worry about it being like that, we can fix it later. So now what we need to do is we're going to import something to Unity called a height map. And what a height map is, is basically a, um, a collection of colours which Unity uses in order to determine which areas are raised up in any, anything on the terrain. So if you can actually learn how to script um, manually the splat map or height map, you can actually create really cool stuff with it. So if we just click the floor and click terrain data here, you can actually open it up and you'll see the splat alpha. The splat alpha is for the textures, not the height map, but it doesn't have one at the moment. So if you see all this red, that's flat land here. And if you see the green, that's green. And you can see in the middle where it's faded in, you've got your path, it's down here. Right there. There are scripts to edit that, but we're not editing that today. So we're going to be editing a height map. So we need to create our own. So first thing I'm going to do is actually get Unity's height map from this. So we're going to click on our floor, make sure you've clicked it, terrain, and you'll go to um, export height map. It'll be raw. You will need Photoshop, Paint.net, or GIMP for this. Photoshop costs money, but if you get it, you're better off because then you can follow many, many tutorials. But GIMP and Paint.net are completely free. Um, multiple operating systems are really, really nice. So when it loads, you get, you'll get depth and byte order. Just ignore them and just click export. You don't really need to know. So we've got terrain. We're going to click save. So it's saved it. And if you go into your assets folder, not this bit here, you'll notice it hasn't done anything. Your actual assets folder here. So as you can see, if I go into assets, there's my files. You want it in here. Then get to terrain and you can drag it up and open it in whatever you like. So I'm opening it in Photoshop. And when you open it, just get this and just click OK. So, as you can see, it's all black, and it's meant to be. Because if you go back up to Unity, you can see it's completely flat, it's all black. It works on the colours of greys and white, so black to white, anything in between, so grey, 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 will be different heights. So black is completely flat to Unity 0, 0, 0. But white is really, really, really tall. So you'll want to use white as little as possible, because then you'll have giant mountains, of course. So what we're going to do is, instead of creating our own, because we all know how amazing I am in Photoshop, but yet yeah, I'm not going to do this. Um, that's sarcasm for anyone who didn't know. I'm going to go to internet and I want you to follow me or do whatever. You can draw your own if you like, I'll show you after. Go to Google or Yahoo or whatever, click images, so you get this. And then what you're going to do is type in city height map, just like that. And you'll get loads of different pictures. Now these pictures here of 3D ones, they're, they look really good. I mean, look at that earth one, but it's not what we want. What we need is ones like these, like the grey and black ones. And the ones that have got black around the edges, like this one, are perfect for it. So you can experiment with what words you use, but as long as you keep the height map in. So what I'm going to do is click on this image here, and you'll get this. And then I'm going to click View Original Image to get this. So as you can see, it's called Tamriel Height Map. I'll put this in the description if you want it. And as you can see, if we look at it now, and imagine black is completely flat, and Y is really high. So as you can see, we get greys here, and so all this black looks like it'll be water, or what we could use it for water. And it'll look really cool if we do this. So I'm gonna right click and choose copy. And I'm gonna go back to Photoshop, and I'm gonna paste it in here, Control V or Command V. And you'll see we get nothing. But if you zoom out and just um, scale it down, you'll actually see it'll fit perfectly. It's because our image is 512 by 512, but that image, I think it was nearly 5,000. Yes, there you go, 5,000, 4,000, so you do need to scale it. So it's not going to scale perfectly, so I'm just going to do just stretch it. It looks fine. 
So there's our height map. So imagine if you don't want some of these pieces, because I don't want them all. So I'm going to go in with my black brush, and I'm going to take some pieces out. So I'm going to take this one out and this one. I'm going to take all these out around here. So I don't want little extras. Well, I do, but not loads. So, and I'll come over here, and I'll just get rid of this dot here. So just make it look a little bit neater. Um, I want the pulls there, so so that'll work really well. So what we can do is save it, and it'll save as terrain. Save it as a raw file. If you can't get a raw file, you might need to use a different editor. But save it as a raw file. Save it, overwrite it, yes. It'll pop up with this, just don't click anything, just click OK. So that's done. You can go back to Unity now and you'll see nothing imports, it's fine. And what we're going to do is I'm going to click it, and I'm actually going to drag it. In fact, no, I won't drag it because it's odd position. I'm going to go to Terrain, Import Height Map, and I'm going to select our terrain here. And you'll see nothing happens yet, don't worry. What you're going to do is keep the depth at whatever you exported it at, and the byte order. So I exported a Mac bit 16, keep it like that. So I'm going to change the width to exactly what your image was, and I think it's actually plus one on it, so don't worry too much about it. And then what I'm going to do is leave these two here, unless you've got a bigger terrain. And then in the Y axis, I'm going to say which is the maximum, maximum length it can be. So all I'm going to say is 100. It can't be no higher than 100. And then when you click Import, you'll see we get a really nice looking terrain. So of course everything is messed up completely our entire city, but we can fix it and that's what we're going to do. So as you see, we've got loads of sharp edges and that's not very good. So what we can do is come into the top view, and just here, and you can see our really nice height map. So if I just move this, say, by 100, okay, I'll move it by 500, there, now we can see it without any interference. So we've got trees and everything, it's all good, we can keep them there. But what I want to do is smooth it out so we haven't got as many sharp edges. So I'm going to go up here and click our smooth tool on our terrain, set it to a big brush and just keep it roughly, set the brush size quite big, there we go. And then if I start rubbing over it, you'll see we get really nicer mountains. Just like that. So you see, it looks a lot nicer now and it's not as jagged and like, don't feel like you're going to die if you walk on it. So that's looking good for now and I'm actually going to go in and get rid of the trees though. The reason I'm getting rid of the trees is because all this flatland is going to be water isn't it? So hey, we may need to put some normal ones in so we, you can do this manually or you can do it back in Photoshop, it's up to you. But what I'm going to do is come in and select this grey here, so that one, and I'm just going to paint us some flat land on. Just so we've got something to play with. Just here. So now that's done, I'm going to save it again and we should have some flat land now. So I'm going to also put that as flat land. There. Great. So file, save again. Terrain, make sure it's a raw file. Save, OK, save. It won't update it because once it's imported, it only imports it once. So what I'm going to do is go to terrain. Flatten height map, set it to zero, it'll flatten everything to zero, as you can see where it was. I'm going to go terrain, import height map, terrain, make sure it's all okay, 100, import. So we've now got a really, really nice looking terrain. Again, it's really, really sharp, but don't worry too much about it. It's really sharp because Unity is trying to um, literally scale down a 5,000 pixel image to a 512 so obviously it's going to be really sharp all you have to do is grab your smooth brush and just go over everything really just like that I'm going to set an even bigger one there we go all you do is go over it don't go over it too much else you'll not have a very good looking one of course if you want jagged mountains you can keep jagged mountains it's your game you do whatever you like as someone told me Darwin I believe his name was it's my game I will do whatever I like with it and I want normal smooth mountains. So obviously your character might be able to walk up these but we can stop that one day. So we've got all that, it's looking really nice. Some of them we may have to expand but what I'm going to do is go in and just get rid of the trees. So I'll select it and I believe it's control, shift, it's shift to get rid of them. We'll add our own trees eventually but come on it didn't look that good anyway. It may work faster now. 
that's one thing. So get rid of all the trees, come on. See it's working much faster now. There, so all trees have gone. And what we can begin doing is if we actually select this terrain here, so just hold Alt I believe it is, I want a smaller one, Shift I believe it is actually, there, we can actually paint it on and carry it on. So it'll be the exact same because we've told it to be height wise the same, but now we'll have some land. Like so. Go in with the smooth tool again just to make it look nice. This is what professionals do. They obviously don't probably use Unity to do it. But they'll use height maps in programs to make it better. So that'll work. Um, what I'm gonna what you can do is go in and paint on it and everything, but we all know I'm not very good at Unity painting. So I'm gonna add a new texture and just texture. In fact not a new one. In fact, yeah, let's add a new one. I'm trying to look for a water floor kind of thing. Let's see what we've got. We've got to have something we can stick on bottom of the floor. Hmm. Do, do, do. I think I'll use the dark blue one. Where was it? Here. Use the blue cape. We'll obviously change it in the future. And just click add. So now I can click it and I can go around with my big brush and paint everything what's going to be water blue. Because then we can sp expand our water and make it bigger and better. Boom. And everything else is going to be like grass until we get the thing done so we can put dirt on around the mountains. But you will notice the height map is upside down. So in Photoshop, um, as you can see, the, we put the blob at the top, it flips it and puts it here. So if you're doing like a pattern, like a skull shape, which I want to do, like Skull Island, then make sure you... Um, do it upside down, otherwise you'll get error. That's the exact same with the splat map. Uh, go back to our tree, tree select and just get rid of all trees. There. So we've got that. It looks okay, it's not brilliant yet. Let's add our water back to it just so we get it. So water, add. See it's not brilliant, but if we stretch it that way and that way, in fact we'll make it uh, 700 by 700, not that way, 10 that way, 700 that way, because then we can stick it on top of here, come down to our side view and bring it down, just like that. So now we have a submerged island thing, obviously we will eventually have to make it look much much better, but yeah. So if we bring it down more, what can we get? Not very much, so I'll just keep it there. So we have an island, for now. Lots of water pools and everything on it. So what's this bit look like? So as you can see, it's even got cracks down here, which looks really cool. So of course what we need to do is bring it all back. So we can put the invisible walls back, for one. So what, what do they look like? Ooh, they're actually not that bad. So if we select this one and bring it up to here, select this one, bring it across, this one, bring it down, and this one, across. So we've got those, I'm going to expand all of them, well, let's just see, because we need it to block off everything, otherwise it'll be like have an invisible wall. We could eventually do look at different principles if you like as well of blocking characters such as um, infinite amounts of water which will randomly spawn the further you go out because if we just put an infinite amount of water on it will just crash so I'll put street lights back on because we haven't got any and that'll work and I'll put sun on like so so we have that I'm gonna get the floor and stick it back 500 across and you'll see everything's messed up because everything well yeah everything's just messed up so if we click play everything's gonna fall so we'll just click play just for fun just because i like fun stuff so we click play and as you can see we now have a really really random terrain so obviously we have problems at the moment with them going up because it's bouncy 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 but we can fix that in the future so as you can see you can't go up all mountains but if we have a look around we have a really really nice mountain so i can see water down here so, oh, we've fallen in water. Oh, we've lived. So, we're in water, and obviously, that looks 
nothing real, but we can fix that in the future. We have errors, which we'll fix that. And I said, but not um, the square one. But as you can see, we have water, so I don't think we're going to fall enough to be able to swim in it, so we might have to expand that. Yes, as you can see. But anyway, really, really good for now. First tutorial. Later tutorial, we're pro we've well, probably next tutorial, we've got to rearrange everything. We have an area here with we weapon stats, which we'll look at next time. We'll make everything really, really good. Possibly another island, maybe. A bus service across there. That'd be quite cool. Uh, we could do multiple levels. I'll show you how to save some processing power on doing it as well. But we have random pieces of water, which looks really cool, from one cube as well. So We will eventually try to put moving water on using shader effects and everything. Thank you for watching. I really hope you liked it, and I'll see you next time.